We're here at Gurria Middle School. Everybody sees the G, but we want, we want to show something very special in this campus, and that's a mural uh, that depicts the life and history of this area. This campus was opened in the 1976-77 school year. During the second year, a, a gentleman by the name of Mr. Sergio Igareda from Mier, Tamaulipas, was commissioned to paint a mural depicting the life and history of this area. Here we, uh, we, ha we start appropriately with the uh, Native Americans who roamed freely throughout this area. They had uh, vast land of uh, what is now called Texas. Texas means friendly in the Caddoan language of the Indians. Uh, this is, uh, and so they had, they had all this land for themselves. But shortly after that, in the 1500s, the colonization period started. Spain sent some explorers, and they also sent some padres or priests to try to Christianize the uh, Native Americans. And so, soon afterwards, we had other settlers who came from France, from Germany, and they came to, the, to, to look at the vast area, which is now called uh, Texas, but at the time was Texas. As you can see, uh, this, this, this depicts what's happening from the time of the colonization period. Uh, we had, uh, because it was wide open, uh, it, it, it led up to a lot of ra ranches, which had cattle and horses and all kinds of animals of, uh, that uh, the space was there for them, so they were here. So we had, we had the settlers come in with that. And, and as the, the area was growing, of course, then of course we were in competition with the United States, this area was still not part of the United States. The southwestern part of the United States was still part of Mexico. And, and so uh, we had, because of the fertile soil that was available here, look, look at, uh, we had so much uh, uh, ranching and, and farming also. Farming, this area is well known for the cotton fields and, and a lot of kinds of plants that they, vegetables and plants that are, that are produced in this area. So that attracted more people coming over here. And little by little, of course, it was been uh, 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 transformed into what is now Texas. Now, there's a lot of conflicts, there's a lot of battles, a lot of wars that were fought in this area. Uh, in fact, Texas is the only state that has had six different flags uh, fl flown over it. It was uh, Spain, it was uh, uh, France, it was Mexico, it was the Republic of Texas, it was a, a state of the United States, and during the, the American Civil War, it was a part of the Confederate States of America. Six flags that had flown over Texas. Now, of course, uh, as, as this school shows, this is a place, of, uh, uh, an educational place. Uh, so the, the beautiful thing is the history is all depicted here from the Native Americans who roamed freely to the modern day Americans who are now creating its own history.